welcome back to the vlog if you guys haven't seen this photo yet yep chris and i got married on january 4th i want to share with you guys how it all started and what actually went through the wedding day let's get started <music> are ever wondering where is Chris in the bedroom he's actually <laughs> right here he had to sleep here because Patches usually wake us up early in the morning he doesn't want me to get disturbed by Patches so basically he had to stay out anyway so going back to the main topic of this vlog so the whole marriage idea it happened somewhat in July we were walking to Popeyes to grab our dinner I can't exactly remember how we came up to that conversation the whole wedding thing but i think we both talked about it about the january 4th because that's our eighth year of being together that's when he also asked would you like to get married on january 4th and that's when i looked on the calendar as well that it's a tuesday and i was like yeah sure why not <laughs> so that's where it kind of all started talked about the day there was really no follow-through as to where we will do it who are the people that we wanted to invite i think part of the reason of that was because my brother was also planning to get married well not married he's already married he's planning to do a church wedding sometime this year as well like 2022 and also another reason it's very personal and i don't really feel comfortable talking about this but let's just say that it involves my mom and her health condition when my brother finally confirmed that they're gonna do their church wedding at the end of 2021 that is also when Chris and I started planning about the officiant where to do it and who are the people we want to be in it Chris and I have always been on the same page when it comes to wedding stuff we don't find the idea of throwing a lavish wedding party appealing you want me to word it? <laughs> yeah we basic we just literally want a simple ceremony his family there obviously my family is not here so I have Kath as my witness and then he has Eric as his best man so the first thing that I actually did was to look for an officiant I just basically googled <laughs> <laughs> officiant in Vancouver and I came across the website allseasonsweddings.com so basically in that website you're gonna select which city you're from and then they're gonna have um photos of the officiants that is working on their behalf we're not really particular when it comes to officiant because like I said like we just really want a basic ceremony and also the good thing about this website is that they have I think three options so they have the very simple package up to a very personalized a ceremony the more personalized you want your ceremony the more price you will have to pay so what we picked was that the very simple one this actually doesn't include the exchange of vows so and Chris and I have always talked about this we're not gonna exchange vows in front of our friends and family because I probably would not be able to finish my vow because I will be historically sobbing which actually happened during dinner time <laughs> what we did was that 
Chris and I just exchanged a personal letter. And then the next thing that we did sometime around in October was to pick up our wedding bands. We got ours at Michael Hill and we just literally have the most simple wedding bands as well. So we got our marriage license around mid of November because marriage licenses only last for 90 days and then after that you're gonna have to renew it. And it cost $100. Tip, when you're picking up your marriage license, if you're an immigrant like me, bring your passport, birth certificate, it, PR card, citizenship ID, all those important documents since you were not born in here, bring it because they're gonna ask for it. Chris only has to bring his birth certificate and his driver's license and that's about it. Okay, before I continue, I'm gonna finish up my breakfast first. <laughs> actually look for was a restaurant that could host 14 people that's the total of the people that we invited including us and including Chris parents because there's this never-ending changes with the restrictions because of COVID it was a little bit challenging to find a restaurant that could host us Heart House in Burnaby was the one who actually presented a very good offer they were served a room specifically for us but the downside is that they can only do maximum of 12 people in that room because of the covid restriction so i had to take back my invitation to a couple also another thing that we actually did was since we didn't really spend that much this whole wedding thing what we did was that instead of you know how there's like always souvenirs whenever you go to like formal events like this since we only have few people invited what we did was that we created a personalized basket for them and in it are some of the stuff and food that chris and i actually use and enjoy on a regular basis so we had some chips and taco seasoning because chris and i love to make nachos if you don't know how we do ours i have it in igtv we love to cook this on the weekend or when we have our friends over we also included rouse marinara sauce and spaghetti pasta i don't know how many times i have to repeat myself on this but if you haven't tried this marinara sauce you are definitely missing out <laughs> our favorite weekend coffee which is the van hood vanilla hazelnut coffee tea but between me and chris chris is the one who actually loves drinking tea he drinks it every night small bag of chocolate that i usually eat whenever i am pmsing packets of trail mix so this particular trail mix this is what chris actually brings to work for quick snacks we just included some popcorn for movie night and of course a jar of candle jars were actually sponsored by candila so marielle thank you so much for gifting us these jars of candles so that i can share it with other people get busy here in the kitchen and while we're doing that let me show you guys a few clips and photos that was taken during our wedding ceremony just to be clear in here we didn't hire any photographer or videographer so what chris did was that he set up one of his camera for videos and the other one was taking the photos i have my vlogging camera the photos were all taken by eric and Chantel, so they were just like passing it to each other enjoy this short clip After these vows, you shall say to the world that this is my husband and this is my wife. Yikes. <laughs> you are the water that keeps me alive. Now, by the power vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> True to you. 
give it all. I give you my life. I give you my soul. And I know.